I'm Terry Log, you're watching Bison TV. EA Sports, it's in the game. <laughs> Sunday night action at the Basingstoke Arena with the Paul Baldwin Agency's Basingstoke Bison looking to complete a four point weekend against the Swindon Wildcats. That being the much changed Wildcats after one of the most turbulent few days in the club's history. Stevie Lyle gone as coach and netminder leaving Aaron L to take the reins and Jordan Headley to step between the pipes. But boy by their big victory over the Guildford Flames on Saturday night it would be the Wiltshire side who took the early initiative. A break up of play allowing the visitors to go in two on one and Sam Bullis getting the finish for the opener. <laughs> Finding themselves in a bit of penalty trouble, the herd had to do their fair share of killing. but still created their own chances. And with Ryan Watt jumping in to join the play, Kieran Long's effort nearly bringing the rewards before Joe Greener took advantage of a disjointed defensive effort to jam home the equaliser. Our Barracuda Network's replay once again showing that good things happen when you go to the net. And from there, the Stampede never looked back. Greener this time proving the catalyst for Stuart Mogg to fire in what would prove to be the game-winning goal. Take a look at our Barracuda Network's replay to see the pinpoint finish that brought the arena crowd to its feet. Wildcats for now they weren't going to go down without a fight, but Thomas Hiedlowski was proving himself a wall in the Bison goal. Smartly denying Carlo Finucci with the glove as the first period came to a close. Into the second and the pool ball when agencies Basingstoke Bison were looking to drive home their advantage. Taking control of the play in the neutral zone before Kieran Long made it a trio of goals for that line. Another smart finish for the herd as our Barracuda Network's replay show once again. And again, the Bison took control from there, this time dominating in the zone before setting up Kurt Reynolds' drive from the point. The loose puck in front being jammed home by Sean Thompson as our Barracuda Network replay show. The host now 4-1 in front and leaving new coach Nell to call a timeout to try and stem the flow. do much good though, Aaron Connolly dancing through the defence before getting a variety of shots off, the Wildcats just about keeping those at bay. And then things got worse for the visitors with Corey McEwen picking up a match penalty for high sticks. We'll leave it to the close-up from our Barracuda Network's replay to show you the blow, and with blood being drawn, the youngster was forced to the dressing room. The penalty later reduced to a game as Reynolds was able to continue. A 
five minute power play going the way of the host who tried to put the pressure on and drive home their advantage but Headley was holding firm keeping the scoreline to just 4-1 at the end of the period one in which the Wildcats failed to register a shot on goal The Port Baldwin agency's Basing Stoke Bison would add just one more to the scoreboard in the third again dominating the play in the zone before Miroslav Van Trova jumped into the play and buried the fifth past Headley and giving the water bottle a spin in the process as our Barracuda Network's replay show. The hosts still had to be alert in their own zone though with Fanucci on the prowl. He had Losky and Joe Baird solving that problem. We'll keep the play rolling to see what happened next. Benucci possibly exacting his revenge along the bench side, causing a scuffle to erupt. We'll show you the Barracuda Network's replays for another view of what happened. penalty box to end the game, with the Bison home rule continuing with a 5-1 victory.